Quran because, you know, there is no such thing as another Quran. Yeah, you no, know, there, there are lots of Quran. So no, there isn't. There are no, lots there of Quran. Isn't. So you hear when we have it. Yes, I was here, but it doesn't make sense. Well, you don't you like bring it. me. You don't no, like it. No, it's not. It Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. But the man is finished because I understand that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Okay, let me give you another. All of these things, that that affects your practice. It affects how you It doesn't affect nothing. How do you know that it affects? Yeah, but how do you know that it does affect us? Because one it says doesn't. you have to, Surah 443, yeah. if it means touch in the sense of sexually, it means before you do your prayers, you only have to do complete wudu. But Lamasa, it doesn't mean sexually. Okay. No. Lamasa, it means I touch you like I touch you. Yeah, yeah. In one Quran, it says just normal touching. This yeah. is my point. Yeah. In one Quran, it says normal touching. Yeah. In another Lama Quran, it says. Lamastum is not sexually. Okay. Both of them are not sexually. They're, They're not. not. Lamasa, it means touch. There's nothing to do about sexual. No, what is this? Lamastum. means he's talking in plural. Okay. You see plural, he's talking to us like as we are a group. Lamastum. So, so, so read it, you know, because you know you're not recognized. Yeah. So Lamastum, if I can't really make it, this one, that one. Is it big enough for you there? Yeah. That one. Okay. And... Hamza, Hamza. Let me see. That one. And this one here. Exactly the same. Lamastum. What's the other one? Yeah, but it depends how you write it. For example, so now if you go to Morocco, right? they, they read Quran. In, they, they read the Quran in a totally different way, okay. different accent. Yeah, but you appreciate that there is a there is a. Can you just can you because you're an Arab? Really, you try. Yeah. You, need to, you, you read me Lamastum and Lamastum, the, the two different verses. They, so they, they mean the same, exactly the same. Okay. Lamast, Lamastum this, means he's talking to us to this, as in general. They are different, right? They are different. Look. I can write you now, so I can write one. this in a totally this? different way. No, right, okay. This is Zakharafa. Okay, so, that so means if I write it to you as an art. That is Lama, I don't, my pronunciation would be terrible. That's different. Khalaf, that's yeah. non sexual touching. And then it doesn't say this sexual. Part. That's not true. What does it say sexual? Part, the underlined part. Can you please go back and read what it says sexual? Okay. Can you find it? Oh, really? This is and not this true. one is touch sexual. No, this is non-sexual. Yeah. And this one is sexual. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting too old now. It's too small. So this is the thing. Can you? So this is affecting. Yeah. One Quran says you must wash only if you have touched a woman in a sexual sense, and the other Quran is saying you only wash. You, you have to wash even if you've touched a woman in a non-sexual sense. So my point is, you yeah, have... But it depends what Muslims woman you're talking about. Do you Muslims know which one? Can you make a difference? Muslims, no, it's the type of touching. My point is, is that Muslims claim there's only one Quran. All the Qurans have exactly the same meaning. The Arabic yep. is exactly the same. Yep. And here we have found a difference. There's no difference. Where it affects the meaning and it affects Muslim practice. And it doesn't if the affect Quran nothing. is the eternal word of God, if it is eternal speech of Allah, which version is in paradise? Or maybe it's not the eternal word of Allah. Maybe not. Muslims are wrong about that, and I would suggest that they're wrong about that because it's just been changed too many times. And this is just one example of a change out of more than 45,000 changes. Try too hard. No, I'm not. This is, so hard. this is the evidence. We only have one Quran, and you know it. No, okay. So go and pick up one one word, no, yeah. and and they're both I, they're I, both I written the same. Lamasa and Lamastu. Lamasa is for okay. one. And I've got other is, words here. A plural. Let, sir, let me a take plural. you back to the other one. Let me take you back to the other one, right? Let me take you back to Surah 210, okay? Maybe perhaps you can explain this to me, okay? So we have another difference here. This is between the Hafs Quran and the Duri Quran, okay? And this is in the word here, Yazkibuna or Yukazibuna. Let me just show you this. This is from the Hafs. Okay, I'm going to show you the Hafs here. This is the underlined one. Yukazibuna, yeah? Okay? And that means they lie, okay? Yeah. This is Surah 210. In their hearts is a disease, and Allah increaseth their disease. A painful doom is theirs because they lie, okay? Yeah. And this is the Duri Quran. Here it is. Here's the Arabic here, if you want to check it. Yeah, what does it say? Doesn't it say Yukazibuna as well? Okay, and it says Yukazibuna. Yeah. Okay, do you agree? Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Is there any difference? But this one says yeah. 
they accuse others of lying. Okay, so the have That's the English lie, translation. The other but in is, Arabic, it means the same. But you say yaskibuna, and yukatibuna means the same. Hold on, yukatibuna means you, you, you're saying to people that you are liars. Yeah, so you accuse them like exactly, okay. yeah. And yak, uh, yaksibuna yeah. means they lie. They but, are lying. but wait a minute, because that totally changes, doesn't it? So in one, it there says is no in their heart, there's a all. disease. And there is Allah no increases difference. Their disease. If you're, if you're in Iraq theirs, and in Egypt, you can, you can, in Arabic you can't be born. But the Egyptian, what do they say? You can see born. Yes or no? In Arabic, in Egypt, what do they say? The dialect. Can I, can Thank you. Can I just say? The that, would you yes. say yes. that there yes. is a difference yes. the between saying they different. lie and they accuse others of lying? So Allah, by the way, in Arabic it means the same. Allah is giving them a grievous punishment. You give me English translation. Or is it because they accuse others of lying? You give me. English translation, but in Arabic you could be no, 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 you, you could be one of the same. It. No, but you've seen here very clearly that the Arabic words are different. Because I can, in English is different. different. You translate. Do you see the Arabic here is different? That word, you could that word, word there, is different to this word. Shove, shove, one minute. Yeah. Look, look. Okay. It's here different. Goes. You could be born. It's the same as the first one. Exactly. Don't give me an English it's translation. It's written the same. It's, it's written, written the same. same. Even I it can pronounced see. the same. Even I can see that it's a different but it word. It's not written the same. You can be born. And the other the one is exactly the same. It has a different meaning, sir. You can be born. 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 هل المعنى هي معنى واحد؟ لا تفرق. You can be born or you can be born. You, you, no, no, so you can see, can't you, from the film that I've shown you two separate Arabic. Yeah. And this is just two out of 45,000 changes. 45,000 changes. At the end of the day, not everyone is qualified to read the Quran and then make his own mind about what's the meaning of the Quran. We have some people that. They, they have studied many, many years about Arabic and say about the Quran and say their religion. They tell us they, what is the, they, you know, there's many, uh, there's many stories that they have more than one meaning. You know, you know, you know, you know. Yes, but, but I can ask you a question. You know, can I ask you a question? My, my, my issue... Is, uh, my issue isn't whether or not scholars have studied the Quran, scholars know Arabic. My issue is that the name Muslims make. Muslims say to me, there is only one Quran. Thank you. But there's only there's the eternal and, and it's been proven that there's only one Quran. The eternal word of Allah, it's eternal speech of Allah. Okay, and yet here we are. We have found 26 different Arabic Qurans. Which one is in heaven? And you tell me about my Bible, that my Bible has been changed. And I've already shown you two changes here out of the Muslims. 45,000 changes. No, I've shown you, and you've seen from here, that actually it's not pronunciation. It's actually different Arabic words. I watched the debate, and it was the same as this. And, and, and just like just like Jay Smith does all the time, you go back to the same thing over and over again. Even though it's already been debunked, and you know this, no, you keep now. going back to the same thing over developed. and over again. How's it been debunked? Well, it has been debunked. Can you show me that actually all these crimes are the same? Ago, two weeks Can you show me that they're the same? Ago. They're not the same. The difference is a pronunciation. Okay. No, no, we've shown you on the camera the different Arabic words written differently, different meanings. This is not about pronunciation. No, it's nothing to do with pronunciation. No. Yes. Man and man, is that the same word? That's well, not a pronunciation. A man, man is one man. No, no, man is more than one man. Like, um, one step for man, what does that mean? On. One no, step no, for I'm one man. Sorry. I'm sorry, the diff man has a different meaning to man. Man is one man, man is lots of men. It's a difference in meaning. It's not a difference in pronunciation. A son of man, son of man, son of man. You are digging yourself a big hole here, my friend. Man and man has a different meaning. One is singular and one is plural. So it's not just about pronunciation. That is false. And I have debunked you now. Okay? Now you tell me which version of the Quran is it's Allah's eternal speech it's, it's, in heaven one version. forever? It's all one version. It's all one version. It's, all one version. it's only about the Jews. This is pretty desperate. In fact, the funny thing is Christians have 1,400 different Bibles. The eternal word of which, which Bible is the real world okay, Bible? I don't believe in a miraculous which book. Bible is the real I believe Bible? that God came as a person. Which Bible is the real Bible? Which Bible is the real person Bible? In a, in a, in a, in a You're using this against us when you okay. have 1,000 different Bibles. How can you believe 
all these different Arabic, Arabic versions, none of which is complete. 1,000 different none Bibles, all translated into different languages. 1,000 different Bibles translated into different languages. So, and you're oh, talking about wait, so hang on, has your Quran never been translated into different languages? No, I'm saying, so, so 1,000 in one language, and every single one of these 1,000 have been translated into different languages. Is that a problem? Do you, when your Quran is translated no, no, into different languages, okay, which is one that is a actual problem? Bible? You say, which oh, we have to Bible? read in Arabic, because in Arabic yeah, it's only yeah, one. But unfortunately, Bible? there are 26 which one? Arabic Qurans. Yeah. Which they have to deal Bible? with that. Which one's a real Bible? Which one's a real Bible? Out of the 1,400, which one's a real Bible? You're going on to the Bible Sorry? because you cannot cope with the fact that there are 26 at least different, different Arabic Qurans. And no, 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 I debunked you on that because you, you said man anything. was a different pronunciation I of stood here two weeks ago and that and we, you had this true. exact same debate man with Mansour. Man is a Mansour. different with Mansour. word to men. Sorry? It is not a pronunciation thing, my friend. So, so what does son, son of man mean? Man, man is one man. What does son of man mean? What does son of man mean? Why are you getting on the No, what does that mean? You said one. You said man is one man. You said man is one man. What does man mean? What does mankind mean? What does mankind mean? What does mankind mean? What does mankind mean? Okay, no, you're right. You're right. The whole of humanity. Or son of man, or two, like how they said when they went on the moon, it was a one step mankind. Son of man does not mean mankind. Man, we're talking about the word man and men. How man. can be used as, as in the same way? It's because cheating. No, to be honest with you, who told you that it's only the recitation? Who told you it was just a recitation? The 26. Okay, has any scholar, has any Muslim scholar told you that? I looked into it myself. No, has, where, did you, where did you find it? I looked into it and then I found that that's what it was. No Muslim scholar was honest to tell you. Is it the one that says you have to wash after just touching? Why? Are you scared? Why are you not scared? Of no, wait. I don't have that problem. I don't have that problem because I follow Jesus Christ. For my point of view, it's just all the same letters. Follow Jesus Christ. Don't follow a corrupted book. It's so obvious your book has been seriously corrupted. Uh, our book is corrupted and your book is not corrupted. I don't believe that the words, the very words of the Bible are miraculous. I've never claimed that. I don't claim that my Bible is eternal. Christians have a different view of the Word of God. Who does the Word of God? Who's the Word of God as defined by the Bible? It's not the Bible itself. It's Jesus Christ according to John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. John 1.14. The Word became flesh and and made his dwelling among us. That's the word I believe in. It's perfect See, and eternal. Uh, okay, I, was, I don't have so to put so much. You have, from my point of view, yeah? it's all the, the same Quran. And you are finding uh, some small, like uh, Dhamma and Fatha, like some small changes. And we should not, and me, or I'm not qualified to interpret the, this Quran with their mo mo people that studied that can interpret it. And they will tell us the meaning. And each surah has more than one meaning. Thank you. And that, that's what I'm saying. It's more than one meaning. It's more than one meaning. Okay. The problem is, the problem is, is that what you're saying, what you're saying is not supported by the evidence. You're a Muslim? Okay. What you're saying is not supported by the evidence. As you can see, the meaning of one there's more than one meaning, right? Am I right or not? Yeah. It is, uh, you believe that there's more than one meaning. More than one. But you expect, but this is not what Muslims claim. Muslims claim that the Arabic, the Arabic is exactly the same. I can pick up an Arabic Quran here, or in Malaysia, or in Turkey, and the Arabic should be exactly the same. Do you agree? This is what Muslims are telling us. But I've shown you, from my phone, I've shown you to the camera that these Arabic words are different. And even the who you follow, he can interpret it and you can but, but, but what she's saying is, so which version do you follow? Is there a different meaning? Today is the first time I've heard that there's more than one version. It's the first time. I thought it's all the same. But now you are showing me like there is a difference between... Maybe yeah. she, uh, she's correct that uh, there is a difference between the Bama, uh, what, the signs. Between the, 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 it's all exactly the same letters. Mohammed, listen, I really like, I've really enjoyed our discussion and forgive me if I've been... But yeah, I, I'm so underqualified okay. to make a debate no, because like, I'm not that religious. Yeah. Uh, so maybe, but, you but, are, no. uh, maybe you read many books and many studies. Uh, not, not, not really, but... but <laughs> what is your job, yeah. can I ask you? Uh, um, I, 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 
do various bits of church. Uh, I love, okay. and I actually, I'm, I think my main job is an evangelist. I love talking I, about Jesus. See, I, I love yeah, trying to I persuade work, people that Jesus I, is the I'm, way, the truth, and the life. I'm an electrical engineer. I work in the refinery, so this is way off my like. Uh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? I love the fact. I love the fact that you're open and you're willing to talk, and you're willing to discuss these things. And um, yeah, I just do do pray that. But I will read about this uh, yeah. uh, the different, uh, I will ask about it and maybe someday I can give you an answer. The, the reason I have these conversations is um, because I, I'm passionate about the truth. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. Muhammad doesn't ever to claim to be the truth. Only Jesus claims, I am the way, the truth and the life. And he says, nobody comes to the Father, to God, except through Jesus. So part of the reason that I that I ask these difficult questions of Islam is because I want people to know and, Jesus for eternal life. And do, do you, you wish because that? Jesus says oh. very clearly that if we repent, if we say sorry for our sin, we come to him, uh, that we, he will give us eternal life. And again, just to draw that contrast, Muhammad doesn't do that for you. Muhammad doesn't lay down his life for you. Muhammad cannot guarantee that you will go to be with God one day. Only Allah knows that. And what is Allah like? Is he a person? Is he a being? What is he? He's so other, he's so different. But in Christianity, God loved you so much that he would come so, and put on flesh. In Christianity, everybody would become, go to heaven, right? In if Christianity. you're a Christian, if you're a confessing Christian, and you believe that Jesus died for you and for your I'm sins, really, yeah. Jesus says that, that you will go to heaven. Jesus says in John chapter 5, he'll say, he says that you've crossed over from death to life. That's pretty awesome. And uh, do you wish that everybody is to, to become Christian? Yes. And I think Jesus wants shot? everyone to be Christian. It's not just me. Jesus, to Christians, he says, you go out and preach the gospel. You go and make disciples, uh, baptizing people in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I, I wish that every uh, one who's good goes to heaven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Christian, Muslim, but, everybody. I wish yeah. everybody who has yeah, a clean yeah. heart will go to heaven. But yeah. this is the thing. We were, the, the only, can I, can I ask, but, the, that's, but the wish is like, if only I could, the thing is I know what I'm like, I know I'm just a sinful human being, and also I, I how can I, I, the only person who's really qualified to say who can go to heaven is someone who's been there already, and we read from Jesus in John chapter 6, he says, I am the one that came down from heaven to give life to the world, that's what he says. And so, if we want someone to show us the way, it has to be someone who's been there before. So when Jesus says that, I think I'm going to trust him. And not only that, but when he died on the cross, he came back, he rose from death, he rose from death. And so, talking of heaven and eternity and God, I'm going to trust somebody who rose from death. I'm not going to leave it to my opinion, or your opinion, and especially when I go to the books of Islam, and I go to the Quran, I go to the Hadith, I don't see that Muhammad died and he rose again. I don't see that Muhammad healed anybody. I don't see that Muhammad came and walked. You know we believe in Jesus. You know that we believe in Jesus. Yes, I do. And do you know we, we believe that Jesus is alive? Yeah, we do. And one day he will come back here. But this Hopefully. is my, but Muhammad, <laughs> Muhammad. This is my issue. My issue for Muslims, okay? Because I know that you believe in Jesus. Yes, but but you have been lied to. Your Quran, your scriptures have lied to you about the nature of Jesus. I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Okay, so because your Quran says that Jesus is just a prophet, but your Quran at the earliest was written seven centuries after the actual life of Jesus. Okay, we know that the stories we read in the Bible are from the first century. Okay, we know that. Um, and so who is more trustworthy on Jesus and what he was like? Is it people from the seventh century? Is it Muhammad who never met him personally? Who didn't know any followers of Jesus personally? Or, and who lived like miles, hundreds of miles away from where Jesus lives, right? Would you trust him? Or would you trust people who were with him? Who were his, who were his friends? But, okay? Uh, and they saw him but do you die and rise again. Jesus is a God? And do you believe that Jesus absolutely. is a God? Absolutely, hallelujah. But, uh, there's only one God. Can I just finish? Let me just finish my point. Can I just finish my okay. point? So Jesus, the Jesus of the Bible says, "Don't believe in me just, a, just as a prophet." Jesus says, "I've come to give my life as a ransom for many." And he says that whoever looks to the Son and believes in Him has eternal life. He's crossed over from death to life. Okay. He wants you to believe and worship Him as Lord of Lords and King of Kings and accept His death for you on the cross. Right. And this is. This is, this is what the Quran denies, okay? So who, would you, who is more reliable? Who is more reliable? Show us the proof. Okay? Prove it. Okay? So I'm just asking you. So I'm just asking you, what would you consider? Just with, you know, what was more reliable? Information from the 7th century about Jesus from a man who never met him, never knew him. Okay, See, didn't you know speak what, what his what language. When you say that there is more than one God, here, the, I, can, I can't believe... Hey, 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 hey. Oh. When did I say there's more than one God? You said Jesus is God. Yes. So you have to let me explain that. You have to let me explain that. I believe that he's the same person. Okay. So I believe that God is one. Yes. He's one in essence. He's one in Godness. 
but he has three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay? It's the same person. Jesus God. No, three persons. He's one in Godness, one in essence, but he's three in persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. What that means is that God the Father can be reigning on high, but also, if he so chooses, he can become weak and put on flesh and come to earth. Now, this is another problem I have with Allah. Allah, in his oneness, cannot do that. Allah could not take on flesh and come to earth because then who would be ruling the universe? Who would be ruling the universe? Okay? And it, it, and it means it weakens him. It means he cannot do everything. Allah cannot do everything. Huh? Well, he cannot come to earth, can he? Because he's one. It's beyond. If he, came, if he put on, if he put on flesh and became weak, okay, then who would be who would be running the universe? Yeah? I mean, she, she can get she can strip naked now and walk. But would you do it? You can strip naked right now and walk down the park. Exactly. It's beyond what your mentality is, and that's exactly like God. Adam. Adam, nice okay. That's a good question. Adam said, well, I like this, it's quite, good. It's quite cheeky. You know, if I if I was to strip naked and walk down there, would I no, do it? No, you can't do it, can I? Well, here's would, the thing, here's the it? thing. I would. You would. But why would I do it? If my daughter, one of my daughters was over there and in trouble, I would strip naked to put my feet. If it required me stripping naked, would strip I would strip naked. If it was one of my children, and I would run to her and I wouldn't care. Why would you because I loved her. And that's actually so, what so God. So your daughter's in trouble in over Jesus. there, and you'd strip naked to go and help her. I would. Why does that make sense? Why don't you just go and help her? Wouldn't you? So wouldn't you do anything? Why don't you to just go and help her? Would you do anything to help your child? What, but what, what I don't, do what I don't understand is, why would you strip naked to go and help her? Well, I don't get. Well, okay. So what you're saying is, if the circumstances demanded it, right? If, for example, I don't know, she was on Please fire. Please show me in history where this If she was on happened. fire and Please she show me needed in to put clothes on, I don't know. I take off my clothes and put my clothes on. Okay, I would do anything. I would do anything to save. My daughter. Yeah, and that is how it's God easy. is with us. If we're where's, where's all in trouble but because of our sin, we're God all dying in our sin. No, we're no, all no, desperately cut off from God. And the only thing that God can do is come to us by putting on flesh and coming to us. Isn't that wonderful? Don't you think that's wonderful? No, no, you don't know. That God would do that for you. The Creator is not the same as the physics of us. You know? the, the physics of the Creator is not the same as the physics that we know. Earth has different physics from we, we, we cannot understand like what's up there. I agree. We cannot understand because we're human and finite. So how do we know what happened? We're very limited. Wait, our mind. We're very limited. Yes, I agree. So the question is, if we cannot understand the mind of God, how can we understand him only if God makes himself known? And that's what God has done exactly in Christ. He has made himself known. Isn't that amazing that he would do that? It's like a paradox. But you're, you're saying, this is, because Muslims have the same thing. Sorry. Can I, sorry to interrupt. But Muslims have the same thing. Also, how can we know God unless God makes himself known? And according to Muslims, Allah has made himself known in the Quran. Correct? Do you agree? This is blasphemy. God has made himself known in the Quran. Do you agree? According to Islam. Okay? But my problem is, is if God has made himself known in the Quran, which is meant to be very clear, it's meant to be very detailed, it's meant to have no error in it, why do we see all these changes according to the different Qurans? Why is it actually very difficult but to understand that you need the Hadith? Whereas Jesus is very straightforward to understand. And also, if you love someone enough, right? This is why I love the God of the Bible. Because, like, if I if I loved you, right? I could, I, what's the best way of showing my love? I could write you a letter. Yeah, I could write you a letter. But do you think that is the most perfect way that you could show your love to somebody? What do you think? Or, you could come in person. <laughs> Which is the most loving way of presenting yourself to somebody? Is it to write them a letter or is it to come in person? Isn't it in person is always the best, right? This is why I love the God of the Bible. Because God himself comes in person in order to relate to us as fully as God can. He has to lay aside his majesty. You know, Muslims will say, oh, it's beyond, it's, it's a, beneath his majesty to put on flesh. But yes, it is because he chose to lay it aside. He chooses to do that because he loves you. He loves you so much. He wants to rescue you from your, we're all desperately in sin. We're all desperately cut off from him. And he says the only way you can have fellowship with God is to have your sins forgiven through Christ's death on the cross. Hallelujah. Pray that you come to repentance. What's your name? My name is Abdul. Abdul. Abdul, uh, thank you for joining us. I'm, I'm sorry, it's the first time I'm here, so I, there may be some etiquettes I don't know about. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, so he was actually discussing this, some of the points that you're making with regards to the different variants of the Quran. 
and you, you mentioned how uh, that there's different versions. I think that's what you were saying, right? Uh, um, and the other point that you made was uh, that it's uh, we believe that it's beneath the man majesty of God, or God, yeah, it's beneath the majesty of God to be to come on earth, right? Um, and the, the, the analogy that I would give, for example, is it possible for God to um, to put something, to create something, and place it out of His creation? Uh, so God has his creation and he's created another creation. Is it possible for God to put that creation outside its creation? Outside, is there, can, there, can there be anything outside of the kingdom of, of, of... If anything that exists outside creation, it must be eternal and timeless. Okay, so it must be God as well. Okay. Right, so, so is it possible for God to do that? Yes, because as a Trinitarian, okay, I believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit, yeah. I think it's absolutely, totally possible for that to happen. Now, you have a problem in Islam because do you believe that the Quran is created? No, so you believe it's created? Outside of time and space. It's uncreated and that's all the information that I have. I don't know the depth of so, that understanding. So you, now you have an issue, don't you? Because what does Islam preach? What's the central doctrine of Islam? The Tor, right? Yes, okay, the oneness of God. The oneness of God now, so that's your central doctrine, but you have Allah, an uncreated, eternal entity, and you have the word of Allah, the Quran, an uncreated, eternal entity. So already you have two divine entities, eternal and uncreated entities, right? So then you have, already, already you have a duality, don't you? The simple aspects. I, I would love to stick to the simple aspects, yeah. but unfortunately, people say Islam is very simple, but it's not at all when we get to this level of debate, is it? And actually, how can you hold to Tawheed when you have that situation? As a Trinitarian, for me, it's not a problem because my God exists, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and every time Jesus puts on flesh and comes to earth, I came in. That I came in consistent with the Trinitarian understanding of God. I came, in, I came into, because uh, I heard you talk about that there's different versions of the Quran, so that's what I wanted to okay, talk about. Okay, let's talk about that if you want to. Uh, so I, I didn't completely hear the points that you were making. Okay, do you want me to start on my phone? I have some differences between the Arabic. Do you read Arabic? Yeah, I read Arabic, but um, what, 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 what were you pointing okay, point well, so at? Yeah. Okay, summarize Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so yes, yeah, so we have the Hafs and the Warsh, and if you've seen, if you've been on Panda Films, Fan of films, you'll see we found um, our researchers have found 26 different Arabic Qurans, okay? And uh, we're not making it up that they actually have different Arabic. Now I have some examples if you want to look at them. Okay? So my point is, and they are different in, so the Arabic is showing continental differences. It's not, you know, I know how that you have different vowelizations according to where you are in the world. But these are actually different continental differences in the text, which change the meaning, the effect the meaning of the text. So, like, so here, do you want an example? Yeah, sure. Okay. So here's an example. Yeah, this, this is just a part back. So here we go. This is Surah 2, Ayah 10. Okay. Let's go this way. Surah 2, Ayah 10. This is from the Duri Hafs Quran. Yeah. It says, Yaksibuna. Yeah. And the Duri Quran says, Yukazibuna. Okay. okay. So if you look here. Yeah. Okay, this is the Arabic. Yeah. Okay. And the Hafs got, version is, Yaksibuna is, they lie. So the yeah. Surah says, in their hearts is a disease, and Allah increases their disease. A painful doom is theirs because they lie. Okay. Right. In the Duri Quran, same surah, it says Yukazibuna, Yukazibuna, okay? And it means they accuse others of lying. In okay. their heart That's is a the disease, yeah. wait a minute, and Allah increases their disease. A painful doom is theirs because they accuse others of lying. So do you accept that there's a difference in meaning between they lie and they accuse others of lying? First of all, my level of Arabic knowledge is not very good, but okay. I think that translation is incorrect. That's the first point I would make. Okay. And the second point that I make, even if it is the correct translation, if we can verify that this is this is authenticated all the way up to the Prophet, up to God, 
then it's acceptable. Then I'll accept it. Okay, but then we do have even okay. if the, even yeah. if there is a slight difference in its in its meaning, even if that's the case, if we can verify that this version, because I know there's there's uh, different variants in recitation, and that may uh, change the meaning slightly, but the overall meaning has no difference, as you can see. So. Uh, if, if we can verify, so this is the Dooley uh, recitation, the yeah? So if, this, if we can verify that this goes all the way up to the, up, up to the Prophet, then there's no pr problem in accepting it. Right, so I have a bit of an issue with that, right. okay, because I do think it's not but just... It, 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 okay. what, I would say, what I would say, it's a bit, you know, I, I can't think of a better way, but it's a bit funny from my perspective that you have an issue with that when we look at the Bible and the number of variants and the differences in the different Bibles that we have, it's, uh, it's, it's like it's on a different level. This is one word which is giving the same general message, whereas in the Bible many times you would see oh, entire parts of the Bible uh, missing or there's a lot of plagiarism within the Bible. Uh, there's many, many issues within the Bible. Although this is not a, a subject of expertise, expertise but I, ha I do have a copy of the Bible and okay. I have seen that. Okay, thank yeah. you, thank you, Adam. So, Abdi. I mean, just uh, Abdi. Sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry, Abdi. Okay, so this is not. We have lots of examples of this. We have, we have discovered 45,000, more than 45,000 variants in the Arabic. Okay. Right. And actually, there is. It's not just a question of recitation, which is how you pronounce things. But no, I, just yeah, I, just, I just told you. This, this, this is, it does affect the meaning, okay? And the reason that these, this, they might seem little, but it affects the essential claim of Muslims, which is what, what they come up to us as Christians is like, is, your Bible has been changed, but our Quran is perfect. But we can verify. Actually, we can, it's, yeah. it's not perfect. It's not one. There were variations. But even then, we can you. Let's let's take away that these these current Arabic Qurans for a minute. Can you? What guarantee can you give me that the Quran that you're reading today is exactly the same that one that Muhammad received from the angel Gabriel? What what proof have you got of that? Well, one thing that I can show is that the Quran is uh, accepted. Accepted. There's one Quran that's accepted throughout, in, uh, throughout the Muslim world. For example, if you pull out any Muslim here and tell him to recite from somewhere. Uh, I would be able to continue from where from where he st stops uh, very easily. But I've just shown you no, these I'm, two things. Yeah, right? but I'm just saying to you that, for example, if you if you told me what 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 variant you're, you're calling it variant. So if if this guy starts reading, all right. If, if I show you an example, if I say to you, "Qul huwa Allahu Wahid." Allah is Samad. How does that, what does that, does that, does anything happen? What do you, what do you think? If I'm saying to you, Qul huwa Allahu Wahid, what, is that correct or incorrect or what? Qul huwa Allahu Wahid? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now that's, that's fine because that's just... Because you can, okay, you can, yeah. because we're reading the same Quran, we don't, we're not dependent on a book. Okay, but can I just, so, so that's good. So it's nice that you two agree. Here in 2017. But that My, doesn't we don't know each other. Yeah, yeah. Our parents okay. don't know each other. Yeah. Are you from? I don't know where you're from. I, I'm from UK. You know, I'm from here. Uh, and okay. no yeah. line of connection okay. Okay. except for the fact that we're reading the same yeah. Quran. Okay. So can I can I come? So that's that's great that you guys agree. My issue is that what that doesn't prove to me is that what you guys agree on is exactly what Muhammad received. Okay. So how, how do, do you, you know? Prove that exactly? How do you prove okay, that? Okay. So so in general terms, I'm going to give you the general principle. So for example, if I learn some parts of the Quran, I learn it from a teacher and that teacher will learn it from a teacher and we have a chain of narration, a chain of teachers, okay? And each time this chain is, is, is part or this authentication or this uh, permission, we call it ijazah or something, is passed on, okay? If this ijazah is passed on, this person is, is uh, someone will be, is allowed to learn from me or I'm allowed to teach rather, ijazah means you're allowed to teach. So I will get permission from my teacher to be allowed to teach Quran to someone else. And that chain continues all the way up to the companions of the Prophet, to the Prophet, to Angel Gabriel, to God. Okay. How do you know that that chain of narration is reliable? Okay, how do exactly. You know so that, now, how do you know that it's not, there's not been any break? So this because, is now, because that is so now this, this I don't know, I don't want to sound condescending or anything. I mean this with most respect, hopefully. Um, a bit of homework, uh, something called uh, the science of hadith. 
if you look up the science of hadith, there's many conditions uh, that uh, need to be fulfilled and it's not just authentic or unauthentic, there's many things that uh, are considered to be able to accept something as a narration or as a Quran or as anything. So there's, and that's one thing, there's oral tradition which is through the, the science of hadith. And also, there's also the, 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 the chain that is given through written tradition. So, back in the day, nowadays there's, photo, nowadays there's photocopiers and there's, there's printers and all of this technology that you don't need to write down everything. But what would happen before is a teacher would narrate uh, some sort of Islamic text or something and that student would write it down and get it signed from that teacher. Do you understand? So not only is it verified in written form, it's verified in oral form as well. So one of the things, for example, in the science of hadith is that each, uh, the biography of each person, that narration... Okay, so, so, okay, can I just interrupt you? So, the thing is, though, is that actually, in reality, we don't have a lot of that information. We don't have, as you go further back the chain, we don't have the dates, we don't have... Let's take, it, let's take for example, Bukhari. Okay? Right. Do you think Bukhari is authentic? 100%. Okay. Now, where does... Bukhari... Okay. After the Quran, it's the most authentic okay, book. Okay, so where does... Where, what time does Bukhari live? Okay, what, I, I don't know, I don't know offhand. Yeah. I don't know offhand, so, just say, just say uh, the year 1000. Uh, I don't no. know offhand. So when, did the, when does Muhammad die? Muhammad dies about, what, si uh, seven, six, fifty, seven hundred, just say seven hundred, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. But, Bukhari, I don't believe, is until like two centuries after that. Fine, eight hundred, okay. uh, nine hundred. Okay, nine hundred, I think it's... Uh, yeah, so that's why I was just, we were just saying... Okay. Okay, it's at least um, it's at two hundred years. It's at least uh, two hundred years, right? Nine. And yet he's collecting sayings. So we're going back at least kind of four generations. Right. So Bukhari, he wasn't able to physically himself check beyond the first okay, maybe so two many, generations that what he was getting was correct. Okay. Okay. So. And also he lived, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Bukhari is from Uzbekistan, right? right? So did he speak the same language as right. These Muhammad? Are amazing he, questions. He, he he didn't. These are very so important actually questions. you have a huge amount to do and my Muslim friends say to me and also we know from the Hadith that actually there was quite a lot of problems in compiling the Quran because Okay, because we're, mixing, Uthman, yeah, we're actually we're mixing, mixing subjects. Let, let's stick to the Quran. Alright, let's stick to the Quran because, okay, because, yeah. because he didn't speak the same language. He yeah. couldn't verify Fine. further than maybe two generations. Fine. He, we know that he had something like 600,000 hadith and he threw away most of them. So he had like 7,000. So he threw most of them out. Okay. So actually we have, and, and what Muslims tell me is that Let's you just have to take my word for it. You have to take my word for it that all of these people in the no, chain that's, that's were incorrect. somehow reliable. Well, that's, and that's, that's putting a huge burden of okay. proof. Okay, so. So, no, so, 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 just clarify your question, just clarify your question, please, if you don't mind, just clarify your question. Okay, my question is, how, okay, you say, so the, the Isna, right, the chain of narration, right. how can you prove that it's, how can you prove its reliability? Right, so we're talking about Bukhari. And okay, we let's said, take Bukhari as an example. Fine, so there's about 200, 200 years between the, we're, we're assuming, yeah. we're not sure, we haven't verified anything, there's about 200 years between the, from the death of the Prophet, peace be upon him, up to yep. Bukhari, yep. right? And the other thing that you said, which we'll talk about afterwards, hopefully, is Bukhari's language issues and communication issues and whatnot. So, in 200 years, how many generations are there? No. My great granddad Eight. passed away at the beginning of this century, right? So, that's about, what, three generations? Three generations in 100 years. So, there's six people, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, I'll go with that. All right, so six. He needs to, there's six people, be, people between him and Muhammad. He's been running, right? Yeah. Okay, so he has to, he has to find someone. Okay, so first of all, we, we, just just to take a step back, when I mentioned to you to check up the science of hadith, one of the things that you need to do, and you talked about dates. So one of the things is that that person has to be upright, standing. Uh, and they have to be Muslim. They have to be so Muslim. Can I stop you there? No, no. We so don't, why is question. it only Muslims? Because there's bias, isn't there? In that, no, no. there's bias okay, to I say the bias. that I understand, I understand actually, the bias. you know, and of so, course and they're going to say that, that bias, Okay, I understand. That bias so it doesn't pass is a historical considered. Text. That bias is Testament. considered. That bias is considered. If there's only one person saying that I've heard this... And where's this, the external corroboration? Because it's one person saying this person is reliable, right. but where are the external witnesses to these people saying, yes, this person is reliable? And how does he check out? So say, 
So, so, so okay, 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 so I've got, got your question. here, yeah. Yeah. tell me to tell me, how would I know it's the truth? I was exactly. going to ask around and say, exactly. well, you can tell me exactly. this, but where's that evidence? Exactly. Where is that so evidence? Until you don't open up, for example, Bukhari, and you don't see, you don't read it, you're, the reason why you're asking these questions is because you haven't opened up the book. If you, uh, I, I, done, I, yeah, okay, I've so what done. I'm telling you is, for example, the hadith will have, if the, the more narrators they have, as in not in the chain, as in the more people, so if Muhammad tells you one thing, you've only got one person who's told you that piece of information. If I come along, we're independent, if I come along and tell you that same piece of information, then the authenticity of that piece of inf inf information increases, is that correct or not? Uh, not necessarily. Why? Not necessarily. All right, another third Not person comes along. Another person comes along and gives you that same piece of information and tells you that I've got this from uh, uh, these people. He gives you known people in the chain. These are six people who are known, famous people in history. Two hundred people. They're, they're all Muslims. But these are independent and that's the chains. Thing that kind of makes them just reliable. Like, for example, just, how, just who's like, checked out their reliability? That's so, you might know them and you might be mates with them. But what is the external person coming to say? For example, uh, you know, example, where's the kind of counter evidence? It's all. For example, it's all let's very, talk about anyone. Famous. All of this is. My problem is, is that all of this is taken on a huge, huge, huge amount of trust, isn't it? Oh, hold on, it's and not only actually, trust. There's, there's a lot have, of intellect. Okay, we have an example. So here's a problem, right? So There's what a lot we do? Of behind this. Let's go back to the original yeah. thing, right? How do you know? My original question was, how do you know that what you're reciting is what Muhammad received? Okay, so how come we do not have the Quran from the time of Abu Bakr? How come we don't have that? Okay, no, 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 you're jumping. <laughs> you're jumping. No, 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 we're jumping. Because I think we're going down a bit of a side alley here. No, 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 we're actually not. But how? Where is the Quran from Abu Bakr? We're jumping. We, we decided to stick on Bukhari. Okay, I'm going to jump out again because it's just like a side alley. Tell me, where's the Quran from Abu Bakr? We know that Abu Bakr had a Quran, right? But and we're, we're talking. put it under her bed. You've just, you've just changed Quran? the subject. Where's that Quran? I think you've just changed the subject. No, I haven't. And, uh, I'm actually going back to the original subject. The original subject is how do you know that what you're that reciting gonna... is from Muhammad? Okay. Where's that Quran? We're changing the subject just to okay, clarify. Why do you have it? Where Hold is on. that Quran? We're though? just changing the subject. So. Do you know? I'm just telling you. I'm going to answer. Okay. Okay. Just, I just want to make it clear that you have just stepped away from that topic. And we, yeah, we are reversing to the original thing, but we agreed that we're going to talk about Bukhari anyway. So now you're asking about the Quran of Abu Bakr. Yes. Right. Now, you have to understand that Abu Bakr, he's, uh, may God be pleased with him, and Uthman, may God be pleased with him. Both of them were from the same generation. Okay? Both of them were from the same generation. They were peers. In fact, Uthman, if I'm not mistaken, Uthman became Muslim at the hands of Abu Bakr. Okay? Now, their peers. What happened to the Quran? Uh, uh, hold on, uh, you have to understand the context. You have to understand, you have to let me answer. And therefore, Uthman, for example, he was, as you may or may not know, Uthman was married to two of the daughters of the Prophet Muhammad. Abu Bakr's daughter was married to uh, Abu, Bakr, the, Abu Bakr's daughter was married to the Prophet. Peace be upon him. So they're all peers. They're from the same generation. Okay. So the Quran that they heard from Muhammad, they all heard the same thing. Yeah, but where is it? So now we're talking about two. Remember, we were talking about two different ways of it's transmitting it's a, it's information. A question: Where is Hold that Quran? On. The Uthman and Quran. Is, do you, are you sure? the no, the Quran. Abu Bakr's Quran. I'm that was the original, peers. right? I'm talking about the peers. They're peers. Okay. They should, if that's the case, why don't they have the same Quran? And why is that? You, you, the reason you're dodging this is because it is an issue, isn't it? There's no because issue. Because there is There's an issue. No because issue. Uthman, isn't true? Uthman had to order that there was confusion that arose about the Quran and he gave the order for the variants to be burnt, correct? One of the correct? reasons why, one of the reasons so why... So why did Allah fail to protect his word? And did understand Uthman something, have understand any something. prophetic authority to do that, to burn potentially holy scripture? Understand something, understand so something. you actually cannot be understand sure that to, what you have okay, in your okay, hand okay. You have to, is the same as what Muhammad received. Okay, you, are, you, asked, you, asked me, you asked me a question so you have to let me answer. You raised another point, okay, which I will also let's answer. Talk about the Bible, okay? Can I just make it? Oh, fine, 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 fine. Yeah? So, so there's there's two ways of transmitting information. When we're in class in school, the teacher tells us something. At the same time, we receive a textbook. Is that correct or incorrect? 
Yeah, can you make your point about the Quran? Right. Yeah? I'm just showing you, I'm just telling you for us to pass our GCSEs, for example, we have our class notes and at the same time we have a textbook which we use as a reference. Can I say something? So somewhere along the line, somewhere along the line, you just were arguing earlier, you were making the case earlier that the Isnad, the Isnad is absolutely perfect because of the because the people were reliable. And yet you're showing me right no, no, here no, you've misunderstood. that because you've misunderstood. Uthman had to burn the variants. No, 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 you've misunderstood. From the, after the time of Abu Bakr, that there must have been a disruption, there must have been the, falsehood the, that crept into the Quran you've in order for the variants to be burned. You've misunderstood. So a lot of, you're showing me already that the Isnad no, 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 was no. not perfect. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay. So, Allah now you has have, failed again, to protect again, his word. Again, this is all because you, either you are purposely misunderstanding the science of hadith or you don't know the science of hadith, okay? But the Isnad system, it produces degrees of authenticity, okay? So, and that, that Isnad system would be able to verify, you would be able to verify the, um, the, the oral tradition and also the written tradition. Okay. Sorry, my confusion. Okay, this is probably me getting very confused. All right, I'm sorry about that. Okay, I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Um, I, I've, I got finished, I've got finished. confused. I've got confused. The point is, You've, there's. Been, let me finish. Let's talk about the Quran. Okay, because the Quran fine, should have been fine, perfectly no presumed, preserved, and the fact that Uthman, Uthman had to burn some of it shows me that it wasn't okay, perfectly you preserved. Have to, you have to let me finish. Okay, okay fine. Can you answer that so, objection? So, so now understand what understand the context. Okay, and the time period. When I say to you, Abu Bakr and Uthman were peers. That means they were of almost similar age, of almost similar, uh, they're both from the same tribe, from the same background. And when the Prophet would receive revelation, as soon as it left his mouth, there was no editorial process. He was not able to say, oh, hold on a minute, I've made a mistake here. Take that back. He was not really able to do he that. He would afterwards, there he would be some that. verses he said, okay, we're going to negate that verse. That's so, a, another topic. But the point I'm making. You just contradicted yourself. The point yourself I'm there. making. Me, but, and it's true, no, 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 Mohammed had lots Let of, me finish. Let me okay. finish, please. And so. Changes his mind, doesn't no, he? No, no, no. There's no the change of mind. If, if, you, if you let me finish, say. <laughs> satanic, but. Okay. So basically, if you, sorry, I don't mean to laugh at you, but I'm really used to watching this on YouTube. And so I'm watching on screen and something's just make me laugh and I'm just used to doing that. I'm so sorry, I don't mean to laugh at you. I don't mind being okay, uh, no, but I don't mean to nice be disrespectful. Yeah. Not, yeah. Okay, so no, because on the screen there's some things that, you know, I'm eating my popcorn and whatever. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so the point I'm making is, okay, so the Quran has left, okay, so even if the Prophet says that these verses are, for example, you talked about the satanic verses, yeah. the, the Prophet can, he, what he says to the people, the, all the people are there, so there's agreement can in the Orient. So, 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 for example, for I need example, to just ask a different question. No, I need to finish this okay, answer okay. because you're you, asking you, me loads you, of you, questions, you and that's not fair it's for the audience. Satanic, satanic verses. Doesn't it bother you? No, it doesn't. That your prophet I've answered it. Cannot, uh, no, it doesn't. Cannot no, it doesn't. Distinguish between no, it doesn't. the voice of God no, and the doesn't. voice of Satan. No, it doesn't. Because doesn't actually, I just actually the majority opinion that is that is that that's an incorrect opinion. It's not a true prophet. Okay, fine. Fine. It, I, it doesn't, it doesn't much, bother me it? at all and that's another topic and uh, just to put it in a sentence first of all it doesn't bother me and second of all that's a minority opinion which a um, majority of Muslims don't agree with let's leave that there anyway so we're talking about for example I'm talking now okay and say I claim anything I'm teaching something for example I think the best example is in the classroom the teacher is saying something one student says the teacher said this one student said the teacher is this haven't you shown the problem though, right there? Hold on, Haven't hold on, hold on. Right you're you're there. interrupting me. One, if you're going to interrupt no, no, me, there's no point. To, there's you're, no you're, point you're of this trying discussion. to back up your, your claim, saying the teacher says something and the students have two different interpretations exactly. of what it this is. Exactly. This is the miracle. No, hold that's on. That's not a miracle. I'll that's show you. Allah I'll isn't show clear. you. I'll that's show you why, why that's the miracle. Because it's been completely infiltrated by people's opinions. If you let me finish, if you let me finish, if you let me finish, then I'll be able to show you why that is actually a miracle. Exactly. If I'm sitting in a class and the teacher is teaching me and I will note down what the teacher is saying in my own words and the guy next to me will say probably exactly the same thing and he'll write down the same thing in the same words in his own words now if you look at the historical context say for example 
the spread of Islam. Within a hundred years, Islam spread all the way to Spain. Let me, to Let me finish. Let me finish. You're interrupting me. Let me finish. You're going off the topic. I'm, okay? No, I'm not. nothing to do with the text of the Quran. Can you let me answer, please? The spread of Islam Can you is let me separate. answer, please? Go for let me, it. Okay, so Islam spreads in very short time. Okay, let's not even a hundred years. Let's say the, the caliphate, uh, the, 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 the first four uh, uh, leaders of the Islam Muslims. spread doesn't mean the Quran is true. That doesn't make let the Quran true. Let me finish. True. Let me finish, please. And so within uh, the first four uh, cal uh, caliphs were, um, were leading the Muslims for 30 years. Okay. Now within 30 years, with, until, within the reign of uh, uh, Ali, uh, may God be pleased with him, Islam spread into Iran, into North Africa, and it was, it was a very short time where Islam spread. Now, let Why me, I, are you finished. talking about the spread of Islam? Please exactly. get to your point very quickly, so, because otherwise we're going off somewhere. No, 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 we're not. So let me, let me, I, let, I understood. I, want to I understood. Is where is Abu Bakr's Quran? Okay. How do you know that what you're reading is the same as what Muhammad had sent down? Fine. If anything, you've confirmed you to, to me. You've Hold confirmed on. to me that actually you are not gonna let me this finish. book not is fair. not what Muhammad. It's not fair. You have to let no, me. No. You have to let me finish. Okay, but please so, make it quick about right, the spread of Islam and because so, that's not relevant. And to this so, the, 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 as as you know, very similar to Christianity, Islam is a um, evangelical religion, and therefore. Uh, the people who um, the people who are told that this is the Quran, as soon as they learn it, they're gone and told them gone and told their families. They're gone and told their friends. It doesn't make it You're going to let me finish. It doesn't make let it me true. finish. Your point. I, you know, your point is that there's very telling people about my telling you people about. If you're going to interrupt me, there's no isn't point. The that makes if you're going to interrupt me, there's no point. It's just one-sided. Then I mean, obviously, you can give a lecture directly to the camera. You're going to allow the discussion. So. It has to be fair. Should we do two minutes? Two minutes? That's probably easier. You have to, I think I, I've let you finish. You have to let me. You've asked multiple okay. questions. I'm trying to answer one of them. Okay, but it's All sometimes right. fair if we do one minute, one minute. That's but okay. with this, okay. So now, as soon as I've told this, Muhammad, as soon as I've told Muhammad something, he runs off and tells his friends, and friends and family. They go off, and because it's the Quran, they go off and they tell their friends and family. Within a short period of time, the Quran has also reached so far. Okay, and now you have. It, the example of the classroom and the children that you thought was working for you, I agree that in the classroom, two different students will write down two different things. <coughs> but another companion <coughs> would hear the same thing and he would tell his friends and family and they would tell their friends and family. If there was a variant or differences, that would not be able to be controlled. And therefore, if two people from different regions would read the, the Quran or they, what they claim to be the Quran, there would be differences. But the miracle is that there are no okay, differences. Can I talk now? Thank you. Uh, right, I just want to respond to a couple of things there. So you were talking about the spread of Islam, okay? And because Islam spread, that therefore that means it must be true. That's that's not right. No, no, no. Is it? I didn't say it's because, because it spread. spread. I didn't say that. I did not the point say that. To make. No, I was not. That means you did not it listen to what I was saying. Yeah. And you were looking around while I was talking as well. So I don't know. Make it true. No, no. I did not say that. Quickly, I said when something that spreads quickly. For example, if I'm learning a profession, if I learn GCSEs at school and I'm tutoring something that my teacher has taught me, and another person in my class is tutoring something that same subject biology to another to student. Me, you're proving to me that people write down different things. Okay? Fine, exactly. Except we have higher standards, don't we, of what God's word is. Exactly, okay? exactly. So, now the miracle would why? be, so the miracle the, the is... The fact is it's not a miracle because we know there explain. are differences. We know that there are 26 different Arabic Qurans No, 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 no stick to this point. Why are you coming about now? Why are you talking about now? Okay. Let's talk about that time. This is I'm why, telling you about that time. This is why, going on the evidence from now, you All cannot right, so prove to me... <laughs> Cannot prove okay. to me that the Quran you have is the same one that Muhammad received. You, More you are, to the point, we're coming there. Right? See, now you're Muhammad, changing the subject again. Look, no, I'm not to, changing the yes subject. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're talking about the differences between Abu Bakr and Uthman. I'm talking. I'm Why saying that they're peers. Why did Uthman have to burn variants if there was perfect okay, so preservation all the way from the time of Muhammad? Why were there variants that Uthman had to burn? Uthman had to okay. burn. Uh, Uthman, just understand something. Understand something. Uthman had to burn, for example, because, for example. The same Arabic text written went to different regions and one of the reasons why they did that was because one of the reasons why they had to do that was because maybe someone had written some notes on the side and there may have been confusion as to what is the Quran and what is not. But the people doesn't that undermine your no, case? No, it doesn't because this doesn't is that this totally is preserved undermine both your orally. Case. It's preserved both orally if and confusion, it's written. Then it undermines your book according to itself, according to the Quran's own definition. It's meant to be clear it, and detailed with no it's contradictions. It's preserved. It's preserved. And you're saying there was confusion. It's, no, there's no so confusion. Altogether, there's no confusion. And we see it's that even today. It's preserved both orally 
and in written form. Now if the written form is damaged or there's some addition to it, the oral tradition cannot change. The oral tradition cannot change. How do you know? Because, because... Let's all show you difference. Show She showed me between Duri and Hafs. I saw that. Now, the, if I can verify, and I answered this right at the beginning, if I can verify that this is, uh, uh, this is, there's a clear chain of narration from the person who is reciting all the way to the Prophet Muhammad, then it doesn't matter what is being said. It doesn't matter how variant it is, if I can prove it. You, now you want to talk about the Bible. Can you prove to me that the, the current Bible is the one that the disciples read and actually, was, actually came out of the mouth of Jesus? You have to lay down the same principles, okay, yeah, the, the same well, standard. First of all, okay, actually, I don't pretend. I don't pretend that my Bible is eternal. Okay, we have different criteria. Right. Okay. When I talk about the eternal word of God, I talk about how the Bible defines the eternal word of God. According to the Bible, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. John 1, 14, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. No, I'm listening to you. Okay? I hope you can do the same yeah? for me. So, the eternal word of God, what is the Bible, is Jesus Christ. It's not the Bible itself. I don't believe the Bible is a miracle or that it's existed forever. That's why I ask so many different questions of the Quran, okay? Because those are the claims that Muslims make, all right? So the fact that if my Bible is changed, okay, these changes to me are not significant unless they affect the message about Jesus Christ, okay? Unless, unless they affect that in any significant way, okay? So where does the Bible come from? We have my Bible, you can have different translations according to how easy you want the English to be, that's fine. You, you have, have the, the same, original. You have the same thing in the Quran. Uh, we have an original Bible, if you like, and you have one, you can go and see it tomorrow in the British Museum, the British Library, sorry, okay? We have the Codex uh, Sinaticus, okay, which is from the mid, the mid fourth century. Is that, is okay, that it's fourth in Greek, century? mid fourth century, yeah. That so fourth, it's, four centuries after Jesus. Uh, yeah, three, three centuries, centuries after, after Jesus. Three centuries after Jesus. Three hundred years yeah. after Jesus. Okay. So we have that, and we have it's in Greek, okay. And the translation of the Greek, if you wanted to get, uh, uh, I, I'm confident in my Bible translators that my ESV or my NIV is basically a faithful rendition to what's in that original Greek. Right. And what is interesting is that that is that comes four centuries before the Quran does, and the Quran confirms. It says many many surahs in there uh, that say that confirm. What the teachings of the Bible are, and so the, the, the Bible, the complete Bible, has already been around for four centuries. For four centuries. Yeah. The Quran. You don't use Quran as evidence. Are you using Quran no, as no, evidence no, right I'm now? I'm saying that. Don't worry about what the Quran saying, says. Let's stick to I'm saying that the Quran confirms the Bible. Don't worry. And we have a Bible that's already we been confirm around. We that, confirm. That's, that's okay. another discussion again. That's another topic again. So, yeah. Let's stick to what yeah. you're talking about: know, the preservation of the Bible. Know, Jesus read the Hebrew scriptures because we find in the Bible that Jesus himself references the Hebrew scriptures. Yes. But also, for example, he talks about. Uh, There were close companions of the person who we're saying that this narration is coming from. You're saying that your the extent of your narration, your written tradition, or your oral tradition, whichever way you decide to preserve it, is 300 years after Jesus okay, ascended. Okay, that's not what I said. Okay. No, that's what you said. No, the, no, the, the, the oldest Bible okay, just, that you okay, have. Okay, just because we have, the, yeah, but I can show you, I can point to you exactly where it is. You can, uh, it's in a museum here in London. We have fragments, we have the pyrite, we have the pyrite from, I think, our earliest No, as far as I know, there's no two manuscripts which are Wait a minute, and we also have, for example, we know, even if we don't have the, if we don't have the actual manuscripts, we know because of the events that they describe, and we know because of the archaeology, that we can date it confidently to within the first century. Here's an example. You're not applying the same standards. I am, I am. No, you're not. No, you're not. So, for example, the Book of Corinthians, okay? Yeah. Paul writes 1 and 2 Corinthians. Okay, how do we know that? Because we know about his journey to Corinth from the Book of Acts. We know from Acts 18 that Gallio was the pro-consul of Corinth, okay? And we okay. also have let, archaeology. Let me ask you we have archaeology to back that up. We have the Delphi inscription. 
that means that scholars very, very confidently can date the Book of Corinthians to around mid-50s, first century. Mid-50s, okay? Let me, let me, let me ask you... The events in the Bible, because they were there looking at the temple. Jesus says in John 2, he says, look at this temple, I will destroy it and rebuild, rebuild it in three days. We know that the temple, that very historical fact here, that the temple was destroyed in 70 AD by the Romans. So again, that dates the events that are described to the first half of the first century. Okay, so we have other means of dating, even though the actual manuscripts themselves, we don't have them because they perished. Don't forget, Christians were poor. Can, can Christians were persecuted. They wrote on papyrus. Papyrus disintegrated very easily. Okay, right. that's why we don't have proper Bibles until three centuries later, right. because that's when Christians got powerful. For the first three centuries of their existence, if they were found to have their scriptures, they could be executed. So, so okay? okay, two questions. So, first question is, first question is, the Bible that you have now, is that the same Bible or is that the same uh, message? What's another word for the Bible? No, no. Good news. Yeah, what's that in, in, in uh, the gospel? The gospels that came out, the gospel that came out of Jesus' mouth, is that the same gospel that you have today or let me even make it easier is it the same gospel that uh, is that you have in in in, uh, in the Brit British library okay so you are okay, so what I'm saying because okay, you yeah, said okay. you said that yeah. the papyrus got destroyed and this and that so how was okay. it preserved from Jesus mm -hmm. to 300 years so I just want to clear up a little misunderstanding okay which is very common because how Muslims understand the, the Bible, what Jesus calls the Gospel, is different to how Christians understand it. So, according to the Quran, the, the angel was given like a physical message that God gave to Jesus, and Jesus spoke it, yes. and that's the Gospel. Is that how you understand the Gospel to me? Um, explain to me what, maybe I don't. Okay, because, because uh, actually that's not what we understand the Gospel to be. Okay? Right, the Gospel does record Jesus' words, but it's not Allah, sort of God inspiring Jesus with a book. What's, what I love about the Bible, what makes it so exciting, so beautiful, is that actually the whole thing was externally corroborated. So if you look at the, the biographies of, Ma of Jesus, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, we actually have not just one story about Jesus' life, we have from four different stories, exactly. Okay, uh, the four different sources, yeah. right? That's so much better than, you know, just... And it's not. So, 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 you, so we're talking about the classroom scenario again. Yes, and but they all agree. Okay, they, they agree. all agree on the facts. There's no so difference at, between so Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Not significant. Not significantly. They all agree on the essential facts. So, okay. That okay. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. They all agree on that fact, and that they. Okay, that's they another topic. That's another to topic because because okay. it's very clear uh, from my reading of, of the of the of the gospels so or what you call the gospels. So okay, let's just stick to the topic. I don't even want to go there about the, the that Jesus died. That's another topic completely. Um, but my point is, so what Jesus was preaching is that what is found in the Bible today. Yes, hallelujah. Exactly word to word. Huh? Exactly word to word. So you have it all throughout Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You have You just told me that it's not words of Jesus, it's not what it's Jesus words, was yeah, preaching, it's, it's actually the, yeah. the co collaboration yeah. of his students who came along and they produced the Bible whenever. And they contain Jesus' words. Between, Jesus himself between didn't write it down. Up to Jesus himself didn't years. write it down, but then nor did Muhammad write the Quran. I'm forget. not talking about okay? that. Yeah. I'm not talking about, Jesus, talking about the Bible It was written here. down by his friends. Fine. Okay. It was written down by people by who, for example? Name me someone. Okay. Matthew, the tax Matthew, collector. Matthew, John, Matthew the beloved Matthew was alive disciple. during the time of yes. the, was the yes, disciple. Yes, he was. Yes, Matthew, Matthew was. the tax collector. There's no reason to believe that he was anyone other than Matthew. We don't know who Matthew is. We do, because we have him in the Bible. He's one of the 12 I'll tell you the difference. Remember we were talking about the science of Hadith and we were talking about the Isnad and we were talking about the narration. Each person in that chain of narration, his whole biography okay. is preserved. Um, Who is, is Matthew? Now? Of course is it? it is. Yeah, you of have to come up with that. Of course it is. It's called Ilm al Rijal. We know this is another that Matthew, thing that Matthew, we have no reason to doubt that Matthew is writing. Yes, we do. He's the and, tax and, collector. And, and, and the we, have, Bible, we have no good Bible reason. Have, we have no some... good reason to believe that he's not. So you can you say the same thing about evidence. anything. You have to come with your evidence to yes. suggest that it's not him. Okay? Fine. That's John, why I don't like the topic. Disciple. That's why I don't John like the topic. The, the beloved disciple. That's why. Who, okay, and if you want to switch it, if you think this is problematic. That's why. That's why. That's why I don't like. Who wrote the Quran down? Sorry. Who wrote the Quran down? Fine. Okay. 
Uh, who wrote the plan? Yeah. We're, we're, we're jumping to subjects okay, here. But that, I'm just making the point that you're saying, oh, we don't know who wrote it. You have a far bigger problem with the Quran because no. you cannot you, name who you, wrote you saying, which surah. You are saying which on the guy ascension, wrote which surah. You, you don't know. Saying, you are saying, and I'm saying Matthew wrote Matthew. You it's have the to take most. Turns. I think the idea no, of one minute each was no good. There's no argument about that. I think the idea of one minute each was good. Okay, let's do that. But we were saying that from the ascension. From the, ascension, okay. from the ascension until 300 years from the ascension, this period, you have nothing. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. What do we you have, have? We have papyri. We have fragments. Okay. fragments. Again, you can go and see it in the John Ryan's fragments. papyrus. So how can you verify okay. what you have in the British Library? You said in the British Library you have a, li a, a, bi a, a Bible, a complete Bible. Yeah. How do you know that okay. is exactly okay. what Jesus was preaching okay, so, or that Jesus was advocating? Okay, so we have, like I say, we have papyri from like, we have fragments, they all fragments. disintegrated. If you, yeah. if you but also, that, let if me you finish, let me sorry, finish. From, we also have, wonderfully, we have the writings of the church fathers, okay? Right. We have That's the writings important. from the church fathers from very early, from the first and second centuries, from which, if we just take the church fathers on its own, we can basically recreate the New Testament minus about 10 verses. Yes. It's extraordinary. Right. It's extraordinary. Okay. So we can verify it. And now compare that because you want to make the comparison. I think you're not making a fair comparison. I think that you're holding different standards. But if you compare that with the Quran, you're talking about random ch church fathers. You're no, talking no, about Quran people. Andrew. I'm talking about the son-in-law and the father-in-law of Muhammad who have preserved, who are involved in the preservation of the Quran. Show me evidence Quran. of their preservation. You, you cannot show me any evidence of its preservation. If anything, okay. we have hold a on, huge problem. Hold because hold here on. today, we have 26 okay, okay. different Arabic Fine. Qurans. We're not talking about now, okay. we're talking about we then. We know from we'll your history we'll come here. that Uthman burnt the variants. Fine. We know we'll come that here. the Quran of Abu Bakr was not preserved. We'll come here, we'll come here, we'll come here. What I'm saying to you is that was only preserved in the written form. And then I was trying to explain to you, you thought I was talking to you, giving you a history lesson on the spread of Islam. No, I was not talking about that. I was talking about how Islam spreads so quickly and how its effect, how, how if it spreads so quickly, if what you're saying is true, that the Quran would also carry the oral tradition, will also be very different. Different regions will be reciting in completely different ways, and they'll be actually reciting different things or reading different things. So there's not only the oral, there's not only the written tradition. There's also the oral tradition. So the oral tradition is actually stronger than the written tradition. And it should match, shouldn't it? Of course it does. Okay, why, so why doesn't it? Of course it does. It doesn't. Of course it does. It doesn't because if we look at the manuscripts that we have, if we look at the top copy, if we look at the Tashkent, if I we went, look at the Sun manuscripts... I went, I went to the top okay, copy and I was reading it. In fact, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got a recording. My wife was recording me reading from the top copy version of the Quran. All 114 surahs? No, just obviously no, it was just a page, but it was a random preserved. sample. We do random samples all the time. No, but it's not preserved. It was a random not sample. Not one manuscript that we have sample. today, no? okay? Right. Not Please. one manuscript that we have today is complete. It doesn't have all 114 surahs. Then we have the different, then we have the different mushas. We have Ubay ibn Qab, we have Ubay ibn Masood, who had, some had more surahs than one, than that the Uthmanic recension, some had less surahs. I'll give you an example so why. I'll give you different. an example why. I'll give you an example why. I'll give you an example why. I'll give you an example Example why. So for example, you for example, at all for that example, your book is perfectly preserved. Sorry. Okay, okay. Just, uh, 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 no, it's my niece. Uh, for example, you're gonna have to blur everyone out. Man. Okay, okay. If that's all right. He's, he's good guy. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna blur everyone out, yeah? Good. Uh, otherwise, please don't upload it. Um, so, uh, where were we? Okay. Oh, where were we? The top cap, maybe. Yeah. It's, oh man. Only 55% of it is, is legible. I read it. Well, you read the bits, and you said you read bits. It was a random sample. Well, you read all the bits you could read. Okay, then give me another random sample. But but that was a point that you said. I think it's just my cue to go. Thank you. Abdi, right? Thank you. Listen, and I read it. No, but but it, was, it, was, it was very unfair. It was very unfair because. Um, because I did. Uh, you, you basically just blasted me with like a million questions and if we, if we were to break them down, they're very, very easy to deal with. Uh, it all depends on yourself whether you want to accept them or not uh, and that's, that's what it comes down to, to be honest. Okay, I'll tell you and, what it comes um, down to for me. Yeah. What it comes down to is actually 
I don't like arguing. I don't like the speaker's corner very much. I'm much I'm actually much gentler person than we're into because the whole reason I'm here is because I love Jesus. Right. The whole reason I'm here is I want I, people I, I to, to, you, I I want, to I want people to repent and to take seriously when Jesus says the that he's, that there's he's, nothing more important than salvation. God. Yeah, that he's there's God. nothing more important. And Jesus yeah. says the only way to be saved. The Bible says that, um, that we have no other name under heaven by which we may be saved. Okay, and so yeah. this is why I want to encourage my Muslim friends to see Islam differently, to see Muhammad is a false prophet, that Islam is false, and that only Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that they, God grants them repentance and that what, they what come to salvation. What constitutes a prophet? Why is it just a false prophet? What constitutes a prophet? Somebody who hears the voice of God, right. who doesn't confuse God with Satan. Okay. Somebody who, as it's prophesied in Deuteronomy 18, is, comes from the, the Jews, from the Israelites. Somebody Funny who knows, you somebody who knows the personal 18, name. 18. Yeah, because my friends say it's Muhammad, but it can't be because it says it has to be from among his brothers, the Israelites. Okay? So then, and what, also, what, 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 somebody, actually, what would be interesting? What would be interesting? Prophet, yeah, what would be interesting if you asked the Jew? Name of God, if you asked the Jew, what 18, 18 points to? And I'm afraid that Muhammad did not know the person in the name of God. He only knows about Allah. He didn't know the name of Yahweh. Okay? okay. And who does miracles? What miracles did Muhammad do? Gotta go. God bless you. And take and so care. Thank you. We've talked about all kinds of things today. We've talked about uh, uh, we've talked about the Quran. We've talked about the changes. The fact that we have 26 Arabic Qurans um, and the, the, the variations. And this is a problem for Muslims. So we say there's only one Arabic Quran, and it shows that it's perfectly preserved and it's the eternal speech of Allah. We know that's not true. We talked about the Bible. Uh, we've talked about Muhammad, whether or not he's um, a prophet. Uh, so yeah, we've, we've had a good discussion. And thank you. Thanks, everybody.